Looks like Tendon reacted to a Blue Protocol video on why it will fail. I'm actually curious what he thinks. I know he's a Genshin Impact, like, hardcore playing sweat, which is totally cool. So I guess it's coming from a hardcore perspective. What do you think? That's some insanely massive gameplay problem. And unless Bandai okay. and Emicon decide to address some of these, Blue Protocol is honestly just not in the greatest state right now. Okay. Many Japanese players are currently complaining about the exact same issues that I have also experienced in the end game of Brew Protocol Network Test, with even really? this Japanese article saying that they currently do not recommend playing Brew Protocol in its current state. In fact, really? you can already observe one of the first issues on the screen right now. This game is very terribly optimized. That is not good. That is not good. Bandai Namco is known for horrible servers, but hopefully they know they have a gold mine on their hand and they need to bump up the server limit and get that shit good to go because I'm going to just tell you if the servers do not perform well then the game will not perform well so you better get on that shit especially in town I'm currently running a 2070 super Ooh. and I'm getting a whopping 10 FPS Ooh. Hey, shit, bro, my stupid ass got a 4090, so maybe we pay to win a little bit. The major problem that we will uncover in today's video. Yep. Hey, I'm 1010, and this is very- I 1010. Brew Protocol Network Test after playing it for a long time. I 1010. As a RPG, Brew Protocol felt yep. a lot more like Monster Hunter compared to traditional RPG like Final Fantasy XIV. And that sounds amazing to me. Online or Lost Ark. The main gear progression in the game involved having you collecting rare material either through monsters, boss talk okay. in the dungeon, or open world harvesting to get those rare material, and then you can craft the next level of weapon or item to okay. advance your characters. I like that. In Boot Protocol, is I love Monster Hunter. Every single class come with a normal attack, which is your left click. And I like that a lot. Skill, which is your right click, and cool. finally an ultimate ability. In addition to that, you can choose four skills to equip at any given moment. In addition to two cool. summon, also known as a magi, to accompany you in combat for a total of six ability. That's gonna be optimized as. I like that. I play a lot of League. Sounds similar. In addition to that, you can also perform a dodge action by using the control button on your keyboard. That will I'm going to rebind that to shift. Which, as far as I know, is an iframe. My main complaint when it comes down to Brute Protocol Combat is that for the majority of the time, you're just going to be spamming your normal attack. Your four That's ability pretty standard. have the sense of rotation or combo. They don't really tie into each other in any meaningful way. So you kind of just toss them out whenever they're off cooldown. I think that's but fine. Of just having low interactive skills. And I feel like just tossing out abilities whenever you can is okay. And the real enjoyment of the game comes from dodging abilities. I'm totally okay with that. And the fact that you only have four skills. Like, for example, I don't play Dark Souls and complain, oh man, I'm just, I'm just not fighting complex enough. I I just want the fights to be complex, not, not my kit. I'm totally cool with that. Some of these skills just have really long cooldown. Some of the skill in the game have 55 second cooldown. Your summon or your imagi generally have a minute to a minute 30 second cooldown. That's why I'm. And finally, your ultimate ability. I like being able to spam that shit. Maybe there's class where you can spam. We'll the result is that you're just going to be spamming normal attack majority of the time. How much skill expansion is there? Okay, that's that's goofy. Right there, yeah. Nope. Yeah, that's rough. To be fair though, I was probably playing the lowest effort class in the game. If you're playing something like- Oh, well then shit, bro. BM Hunter's the same thing in World of Warcraft. You should have said that shit, bro. You can't complain about the classes being not complex when you're intentionally playing the least complex character. You gave me a heart attack. Like mage, then you actually have a energy meter that you have- That's the ready. class I'm playing. Because mages is a lot more spammable. That's if what I'm playing. Play a melee class in the high level dungeon, then you have to involve a lot more by watching the enemy attack and start dodging. There's that sounds cool as hell. Mental damage system in the game, which you can observe under the boss HP bar, which is currently infected with the earth status. When you eventually fill up the entire bar, the boss will get staggered, which allow you to get free DPS. Cool. As far as I know, there is no elemental reaction system in Boot Protocol, unlike games like Genshin Impact, and it's mostly- I'm glad there's not an elemental reaction system in a MMO. But That'd be goofy as shit. You can change your class at any time on the same character in Boot Protocol by equipping the corresponding weapon for that class. You have to level each class separately, similar to Final Fantasy XIV, but it is possible oh, to play damn. every single class on the same character. So if you oh, that's weird. Of one class, you could always look to switch to a different class and try it out. That's weird, but that's that's also cool. All right, in I was not expecting that at all. Complaint I've seen on the Japanese player side. That's fine. You only get four ability with some having a really long cooldown, regardless of what class you're playing or what dungeon you're doing. But we have a much bigger problem to uncover. With What's the problem, Tenton? The 
gear progression system. What's wrong with it? The gear system in Brute Protocol involve your primary weapon and then two summons that you can use in battle, also known as Imagi, and then finally, five insignia, which is your armor slot. Each of these items will contribute to your battle score, which is how you progress in the game. Okay. If you play Brute Protocol normally by following the main story quest, within the first two hours of your gameplay, eventually you're gonna hit this church, which is your first major progression wall. Okay, I think that's fine. Church dungeon, uh, it reminds me of the way that you progress in uh, Monster Hunter Rise, where you hit like uh, the, I believe his name is the Nabo Naga. It's like this big purple like explosion dog that's like has like, a mix with a samurai. And you have to grind that for a little bit. Or sorry, Magnum Mallow, that's the name. I mean, that's fine. I don't see anything wrong with there being a progression wall for games where you have to grind out the gear. I think that's, that's fine. We'll see. I mean, it's a little bit annoying, but uh, you know, that way you don't speed through the content too quick, but I mean, we'll see. Following the main story quest, it is very likely that you'll be at level six or level seven with maybe 200 battle score. But the church dungeon demand you to be level 12 ish as well as a 700 battle score, which is okay. That's weird. If the okay, that's actually weird. If the grind's bad, then that's weird. It's a extreme jump from where you are at the main story quest. With no see, that just seems like they didn't implement enough into the game for like progressing point of the game. In my personal opinion, this will be the biggest cause of Brute Protocol failure is because many players would drop out of the game at this point since the gear progression wall is just way too huge. Really, it's that bad? The first two hours of the game. Fortunately, when the game eventually do get released on America, I will be making videos and guide on how to get past some of these major barriers. Oh, hey, somebody's so got to do it. Here and you're enjoying the video, consider subscribing to hey, not miss on future videos. Same, to be honest. I actually like cannot wait YouTube for this game. As well. Let's start off with leveling your own characters. Leveling your character in this game is extremely slow. Side quests are really tedious, but doesn't give a lot of EXP. Dungeon Run can net you a okay amount of EXP, but they're extremely long. Cool. So what is the most efficient way to get EXP? Hunting groups. You're gonna Sweet. acquire majority multiplayer of the encouraged, like thank God. And one of the most efficient way to do that is to simply find a hunting spot where there's really good mob spawn and you just basically kill everything on site. You only have to hit the mob once in order to get credit. It's like how a theme got world first in World of Warcraft. He was just mob uh, mob grinding Naga for like 24 hours straight. Not really the most exciting, but it could be chill to do with homies. Which give you the drop as well as the XP. So often you'll find a bunch of players sitting at really popular spot, fighting over monsters and just killing everything on site. And then one guy AFK in, in the group reaping the rewards. That will be me. Extremely unrewarding and tedious. You often find multiple quests that ask you for the exact same thing, such as killing 20 enemy or collecting 20 flower in this zone. I can literally find three to four Quest that is asking them for the exact same thing. And you feel like I think it's fine to quest that. This one, collect 30 material from uh this place. Uh, and then the next quest, come back and ask, hey, can you collect 10 more at the exact same place? This exact same shit. And you collect 10. That's just MMOs though. Here. 30 more. Like, and that's like every MMO. Because I already collected like 40, 50. Yeah, I already collected like. Uh, I, I get that you might not like, but I mean. Paul, I'm like, hey, can you actually. That just because MMOs same don't know what else to do, man. Go back to the same place, do the exact same thing, collect 30 more from me. And now, I do prefer when you're given those quests all at the same time. That way you can come stack, but. And you have to do it because this gives you the recipe for uh, for um, whatever this insignia is. This uh, this water bottle. Okay. Uh, the world outside insignia. Right? And it just feels okay. really torally. It yeah. was really shortly. Yeah, MMOs are more so but jobs. It's actually the it's true. easy part of the progression. Obtaining new gear that will increase your battle score is the real difficulty when it comes down to the game. Obtaining rare material and crafting newer and better gear is the way you progress your gear in Brute Protocol. And these could be extremely tedious to get. Some of these rare material might come from a few bosses that spawn after a certain amount of random interval. And you just gotta be there when it does spawn and hope there are a lot of people there as well to kill these bosses because they do take a long time to kill yeah it sounds like guilds are gonna be encouraged because a lot of the co content is like monsters in this you case, need a guild screen, i'm looking for because you need a group. hair these materials have extreme it's gonna feel dropping. good when you I know, let me tell you i know it's gonna suck while you're in it but the dopamine you're gonna feel when you break through is crazy because i i love grinding games like monster hunter me personally why you see hunting group just going around and hitting every single monsters because everybody is looking for these kind of rare material and of course you need multiple of them these drama are actually by name as well meaning that you have to hit the right goblin at the right place to get the right drop other goblin, such as elderly goblin, which is the red goblin on the screen, does not actually count. It drops a different material and it doesn't contribute to whatever you're crafting. 
At the very least, when you're hunting for a rare monster drop, you're still somewhat playing the game and you're still getting the XP, so you're progressing in some kind of way. The main, main, main problem of Brew Protocol uh -huh. is the harvesting RNG. Out of the Harvest asking RNG? for rare material from either bosses or few monsters, it could also ask for rare material from pure harvesting. And the way you get these oh, rare no. harvesting material is simply by running across the entire map, collecting every single node you see across, and praying at every single one of them that it is going to drop the one you need. Not a fan of that. I will say that right now. Not a fan of that. Any game that has harvesting, I always skip. Even in Mazra, I did not harvest shit unless I had to, and I hated it. So this might suck. With, and again, an extremely low drop hand. See, yeah. no Maybe there'll be like a battle pass that I can buy to bypass that shit, bro, because fuck that. In front of me, right? These are like resource harvest slot. And basically, like, you just have to go through each one of them and harvest every single one of them. And each one of them has like a 1% chance of being the grass you need. Like, it, it's it's fine until you're like, doing it like a so thousand yeah, times. And then it's just so tedious. Gathering grass. That is the entire game of Brew Protocol, bro. The low drop rate on rare material is by far the number one biggest complaint when I come down to the brute yep. protocol network test. Especially well, let's just be lucky that then. These nodes are really spread apart and they respawn really slowly, making your entire experience just running across the entire map. And yeah, I'll just get course. lucky. That's what I'll because do. Because of the way the gear progression work in this game, it is almost mandatory that you do this and just start collecting grass at some point of the game. This is because in order for you to vertically advance your character, you must first advance the character horizontally in order for you to okay. obtain the next tier of weapon in the game you have to craft it which which same could be fine but we'll see 10 weapon you have to obtain a bunch of rare material through the same process it, he does so make it sound like it's annoying as shit though the corresponding dungeon in this case the 270 battle score dungeon to obtain the boss material drop but in order for you to get from 200 battle score yeah. to 270 battle score you have to advance your character horizontally by improving your Imagi or improving your Insignia. Okay. The game kind of guide you through how to obtain each one of them through the adventure book. And by completing the adventure book, it is most likely that you have the material to craft the next level of the Insignia or even give you the recipe. But again, each one of these quests are extremely tedious and involve asking you to say, collect a bunch of rare material and you end up just going around and harvesting and doing the exact same thing over and over. Overall, it feels like you're just doing a bunch of meaningless shit, especially with how low the drop rate is, to have a chance to progress your character. Damn! You that until you get the next weapon, your character doesn't really do more damage, so you might be fighting harder and harder enemy to get those rare drops, but your character doesn't do more damage to help you kill them. I'll make a separate video but why not? diving deeper into the huge progression wall problem with Root Protocol, but in my very honest personal opinion, this combine it with the fact that you are just grinding against low drop rate will be the number one cause of brute protocol failing ultimately i honestly think well let's hope they fix that because we're still in really beta potential the world looked really amazing the aesthetic looked really cool and the end game while it is i mean it looks like the future of gaming unfortunately is appealing to casuals and this seems like it's pretty anti-casual so maybe we fix this up a little bit and we, we we save the hardcore shit for the end game like mythic mythic difficulty you know simple does get a job done it'll be a really cool friend to play with your friends and i still plan on we don't we, we don't want it to turn 90 percent of the player so base again, stay tuned all right hold on hold on future me here as I saw us approaching yeah. the end of okay. editing this video, Good. looked like the director has already made comment about some of these issues that I really about in this video, and of course many player feedback as well. So that's hold up, know it was legit. Many player was complaining the same thing that I was complaining in this video, right? So noticeably here, he say personally, I definitely want okay. to the adventure board, which is really repetitive. The drop rate, which is one of the biggest complaints yeah. throughout the video, and the gathering. Aspect, okay, amazing. Like, like to call touch grass aspect. So. Now you know that every single thing that I complained about was legit and it was definitely a issues. But unfortunately, they're looking to address it. Originally, Amazing. I was make a segment here about how if they don't address it, that Brew Protocol will fail because people don't really like that amount of grind. But it looked like they're already. I mean, the fact that they're already addressing it—that's crazy. Looking into it, so maybe we're safe. Anyway, that's rare for yeah. devs.
This video only briefly covered even the before the even before system, the, the game's release, system, and it doesn't really show a lot of the other stuff that Brew Protocol has to offer. And so, if you would like me to showcase those as well, let me know it in the comment. Do it. I need more content, like man. This is definitely one of the biggest and the most important things to talk about, since these are things that nobody else has been talking about, as you don't really observe these in the trailers That's or true. in the gameplay footage that they provide to you, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, that is pretty much it for this video. And as always, if you're enjoying the video, hey, good shit. Hey, ten ten, good video, brother. Yeah, I mean, Blue Protocol looks good. I mean, all the bad shit. It looks like they're already addressing. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.